wipe away the existence of an idea of a human being, of a political instantaneously. So I understand lots of conservatives Look are what is hesitant that tie? to talk about challenging big tech, hesitant about challenging Menlo Park and Silicon Valley. But we as conservatives should not become corporatists. We as conservatives should ask ourselves, what does it mean to be a conservative? First and foremost, we are here to conserve God-given liberties and freedoms. We are here to protect the family, our country, are the American way of life. And when a group of people in a concentrated area controlling trillion dollar companies decide to impose a viewpoint that is completely contrary to the American way of life, and then we say, well, we can't do anything because they're a private company. Excuse me, as soon as you have 200 million users and 93% of all search results, you're not the local flower shop or the local coffee shop, and you shouldn't be treated as such. And we as conservatives must be very clear. If you do not support breaking up big tech or challenging big tech, you are not a conservative, you are a corporatist. You see, the founding fathers were very worried about the centralization of power. I love limited government. But why do we love limited government? We love it so that we can live lives as we see fit. The founding fathers loved liberty. They believed liberty was given to us by God, not by government. But the founding fathers never imagined that a small collection of companies could potentially be more powerful than our own government. Our Google founding fathers never powerful. imagined that Mr. And Potato Head would be non-binary. We'll say start a competitor. I'm so we'll fucking angry right now. The parlor. People say, well, what, what harm has Google actually done to the country? Well, besides addicting our children to their smartphones all day long and destroying the humanity of, our entire, of, of an entire generation, besides censoring different uh, pol political opinions, even beyond that, they have the potential power to obliterate any political movement. We saw it with one of the most grotesque and dangerous acts of political interference in American history. One month out from the election, Hunter Biden's laptop, that story was given yes, to the New York yes, Post. Anyone yeah. who tweeted about, about it, anyone who posted about it. directly into my veins, brother. I'm so addicted to fucking Hunter Biden's laptop stories. We have oh, if he says Hillary Clinton, I'll fucking bust the load right now. Friday morning, alhamdulillah, it's like not even 12, it's not even 12 so p.m. here yet, and I'm already fucking rock hard like a goddamn mean? diamond, baby. Well, number one, Woo! we must identify about the problem. Fucking... And I'm going to just say something that needs to be said. Any about Republican the peer, that takes about the pierce through steel with this fucking Google cock oh, should leave brother. the Republican Party. Any Republican that is funded by Google has no place in the Republican Party. We, as conservatives, this must treat the fuck is this thing? donations that you get from Silicon Valley like we treat donations from Planned Parenthood. We would never put up if a Republican came on stage here and said, oh, I'm financed from Planned Parenthood. Then why do we tolerate Thank big tech companies financing months, our lawmakers? There are two governments in I our country. I don't get it. Like, the, the funniest part about it is that, like, this is so directly... Um, this is so directly connected to culture war that, like, Charlie Kirk and others consistently make a... Uh, and liberals kind of do this, too. But they, they consistently make... There are two things that conservative a, a cultural argument religion. about like what about company is giving you money. Else. The reason one, why we should oppose corporate donations country. from fucking free uh, you know oil barons is because that ends up subsidizing the fossil fuel industry, which is destroying the planet. Okay, like Google is bad not because it's giving fucking uh, Google is bad not because it's giving money to the Republicans or the Democrats or some shit. Google is bad because they are a monopoly and they sell your information and sometimes they even work with the fucking government and, you know, uh, keep tabs on everybody and your data is no longer private. And they use our own slogans like they're and data miners. And I find it so strange that it's like, well, some companies and their donations are good and others aren't. No, well, most of them engage in the same exact shit. That's why they give money to both sides. And the real problem here is uh, the, the real problem here is corporate corruption that is rampant in every industry because that's capitalism. It's not, you can say true capitalism has never existed uh, in the same way that you would, uh, you know, argue against like uh, leftists or whatever. 
But uh, ultimately, that is actually capitalism. It's the way it's supposed to operate. This is the free market and uh, the, the natural inclination uh, driven by uh, profit, uh, driven by profit seekers to uh, monopolize every fucking field. And if there is a government involved, that is an absolute necessity. Sorry, libertarians, a government is an absolute necessity. Even minarchists will agree to this. Then they are going to fucking game the system. The companies that want to monopolize either through vertical or horizontal integration are going to then, you know, play to the referee. We, as conservatives, have more power than I think we realize. We have purchasing what power, we have Gamba? consumer power, and we must, in a variety of different ways, make sure our lawmakers do not take money from these corporations. Push back against their pattern of actions and be unafraid to entertain ideas, to liberate the marketplace, empower real entrepreneurs, because the digital age is upon us. And if Isn't we do not have crony free capitalism, speech or not first capitalism? freedoms, then we're all going to live capitalism, in a country that is unrecognizable. Crony capitalism and is I believe capitalism. If we do that and restore integrity in our elections, we're not just going to win a little. We're going to win big, and we're going to win for the next couple decades. Our best days are ahead. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. This distinction between crony capitalism and capitalism is idiotic because capitalism is still like capitalism is and and full fully blown free market capitalism is always going to lead to even worse results than not having a fucking government unless you believe in some fucking fantasy land that you do not have a need for a court system or a body that regulates and uh, a guy with big gun win every fucking argument and also every uh, every business okay it's so dumb there well, and well, that's well. precisely why I'm libertarians minarchists leftist libertarians today. and right-wing libertarians even also concede to that point that like there is collective action. There is uh, some form of, of collective understanding that is an absolute necessity for society to function, even businesses to fucking thrive. So when that happens, and because we understand that all corporations want to maximize their profits, all corporations want to make uh, more money, Thank you, they are going to the game the system trains. regardless. Even if you... Uh, uh, so Charlie's alternative is literally, no, 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 abolish the fucking regulatory system and and let free market reign okay well then if there's no fucking court system or if there's no regu if there's no regulation if there's no regulatory body then they are going to kick it into fucking overdrive there's no rules and regulations around how corporations can uh operate Asshole. if they are unchecked what the fuck is going on here is this what oh what is happening i don't know much